In this video, we're gonna code our sprites for the second question, and adding the code will allow the question and answer choice sprites to appear at the correct time. So to start off, we need to switch to our question number two costume. So I'm gonna click on the question sprite, and then I'm gonna click on costumes, make sure we're on question two, and then choose scripts. And I'm gonna add some code here that says when I receive, so I'm gonna go to events and add when I receive, and we do wanna leave it at the message at continue to two. We want to switch the costume. So switch costume to question two, and we're just gonna lock it in place. So forever go to our X and Y values. And again, we're not gonna change those. So that is going to switch our costume from question one to question two. So we're good there. The next thing we need to do is to hide the answer choices from question number one. So let's click on each of our answer choices for question number one. And let's add some code that says, when I receive, continue to two, that means the question is changing to the second question, we wanna hide. So I'm gonna choose hide from the looks menu and connect those blocks. Okay, that's perfect. And we're gonna do that again for choice B and choice C for the question number one. Again, we're gonna choose from the events category, when I receive continue to two, we are going to hide. And lastly, let's do choice C. When I receive, continue to two. From the looks menu, I'm going to choose hide and connect those blocks. Okay, so now those answer choices are gonna hide when the question changes to the second question. Now in our example, we have um, just choice A, choice B, and choice C for both questions one and two. So when we actually test the game, it's not gonna be like obvious that they change because they're the exact same choice A, choice B, and choice C. But if you had different text in each one, it would be very obvious that they were now hiding the answer choices from question A. Okay, so now that we've hidden the answer choices for question number one, we need to now show the answer choices for question number two. So for each of these answer choices down here, we are going to add some code. And it looks like when we copied the answer choices from our question number one, that it copied the script with it, which is great, because this is gonna make our job so much easier. So instead of saying when I receive start game, we now wanna change this to continue to two. And we want to show forever. Now, this one is a correct answer. So I'm going to go ahead and change this broadcast no to broadcast yes. Okay, so that script is now correct for choice A. For our choice B, we need to change the same thing. We need to come up here to start game and choose continue to two. And that is an incorrect answer. So we're fine leaving it to read broadcast no. And for choice C, Again, we change the drop down menu to continue to two. And when this sprite is clicked, we want to broadcast no. Okay. All right. So now we have coded our question number two answer choices. Let's go ahead and test our game by clicking the start flag. So for the first question, we said choice C was correct. And now I can click next question. And it went to question number two. Ah, we need to make our answer disappear. So let's go into our answer sprite and let's just add a script that says, when I receive continue to two, we are going to switch costume to blank. We're not going to hide it. We're just going to do the blank costume. Okay, now let's test our game again. All right. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so in the next video, we are going to get those correct and incorrect messages to pop up here at the bottom. See you in the next video.